my name is Andreas Bevark, and this is my masterclass. In the last episode, we talked about location and how to build a jump. Now we are going to talk about body position and how to control the snowmobile mid-air. So I'm entering the in-run. I will pick up my speed quite fast to keep it consistent before the jump. I position my feet in the center of the running boards, bending my knees, feeling strong in them, ready to take the impact of the jump. My upper body is more relaxed. I'm using my arms only to adjust my position. They are not working hard. They are relaxed. I have my consistent speed. I'm entering the jump and I need to give a little more throttle now because we're going uphill and the jump will slow me down. So we give more throttle up the ramp and right before the takeoff I let it go. Why am I doing this? It's because I want the nose to go from the higher position in the jump to slowly through the jump go down before I land. In air, I am controlling the snowmobile using the track. It has mass to it rotating and this is my tool to adjust the sled. I can either hit the throttle gaining more track speed and this will bring the nose higher up or I can brake. When I hit the brake, the track will slow down, bringing the nose down. This will help me adjust my angle to come into the landing in the right way. In the air, I keep the same body position. I have my feet in the center of the running boards, my knees are bent and my upper body is relaxed. My arms are only adjusting my position on the sled. As soon as I got up in the air, I'm starting to look for a landing. And when I find it, I keep my focus there. As I get closer, I'm starting to prepare for touchdown. In the next episode, we're gonna talk all about the landing and how to get down on the ground safe. If you're having any questions about this episode, please comment below and I will see you in the next one.